In 1996, I made a commitment to only supply the highest quality essential oils I could find. And from that time, I've been involved with many different uh, companies that I supplied essential oils to. In 2009, I started Be Young. That commitment has remained the same from that day to present. I'm constantly searching and looking for a better quality product somewhere in the world that, we, that would meet the standards that we have set. I first heard about Sacred Frankincense when I was in France. And as Dr. Penuel and Pierre Francom and others were talking about this amazing oil, the, the power of the compounds, the elevation of the boswellic acid, I, I was so intrigued. And I was able to acquire a contact. He had been taken advantage of by uh, other companies and to the point where it had literally devastated his entire family because they've been involved in doing this here harvesting of this sacred frankincense literally for generations upon generations and being taken advantage of losing the entire family's income was very devastating and so his trust of Americans and this industry was very suspect. Two years ago, in one of my communications, he started to warm up. And so as we had this conversation, I had to clear the air. And I said to this gentleman, let me just tell you who I am, what I am, and what our company is about. And as I shared that with him, I felt some real strong reservations. And so I, I just said, hey, let me just let you be aware that I'm not here to exploit your product. I'm not here to try to um, make it something that it's not. I'm here to give this product the best opportunity to be in the hands of the people that really deserve it and want it and need it. And then communication started again. He reached out to me this time. For the first time, he reached out to me. That was a big, big sign in, in the journey that Slowly, over time and distance, the, the edges, the rough edges, the, the frostbite was breaking down. And we're getting to an area where we can really communicate. I don't want to take advantage of you. And I said, you could keep my money and never talk to me again. Maybe make up for some of the damage that's happened to your family. But I want to trust you. I want to develop a relationship that would last beyond this day. That relationship has developed. Well, let me share a little bit about this frankincense and why I'm so excited about it. This comes from the uh, Dofar mountain range near Somalia. Um, it's, it's the southern tip of Oman uh, on the Arabian Peninsula. Now this area literally, it goes back thousands of years before Christ. In fact, some of the first records that, uh, that I've been able to find that he has shared with me is about 1000 BC where they were actually harvesting these sacred trees. There's zero rainfall in this region uh, within a year's period of time. It's just the, the rainfall is so minuscule. And when you look at the train, it is the harshest desert environment you can imagine in the high mountain regions of Oman. And this is where this amazing plant grows. This tree is, is phenomenal. And because of this harsh conditions, the compounds within there are so amazing compared to the other frankincense within the Oman region. And what I mean by amazing, when we look at the, the turpin uh, profile, it is so uh, broad. Instead of having multiple turpins, it has multiple, multiple turpins. Sesquiterpins, monoterpins, turpins of alcohol, hydrocarbons of turpins. It, the profile is huge. Instead of being around 47%, we're up in the 70%. Along with that, the boswellic acid, the coveted boswellic acid, is the highest of all of the frankincense. If we look at the archaeological history and the, the scientific history, as well as the folklore, this is the region in which uh, three wise men have been reported to come and acquire oils to take to a king.